Right then, hello everyone, welcome to um, another P3D meme. <laughs> the uh, commercial pilot license, okay? It's got some things that I have to uh, tick off that I've got to accomplish. Some requirements, okay? There's 10 requirements in the total uh, license. And the first five can be done in this one flight only. Basically, we have to take off in a twin engine prop plane to a straight and level flight. That's number one. We have to do a VOR hold in a twin engine prop. That's number two. We have to do a VOR approach with a procedural turn in a twin engine prop. And we have to do an ILS approach straight in in a twin engine prop. And also do an ILS approach with a 10 minutes holding pattern into a procedural turn in a twin engine prop. So the first five can literally be done in this flight. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take off. We're going to do a VOR to VOR. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, and then when I get to this point up here, which is the Lewis landing, the Huguenot um, VOR, we're basically going to do a uh, holding pattern for, for a few minutes, just literally going around in a, in a pattern, uh, like an oval racetrack. Um, and then, and that will satisfy the uh where is it the holding vor hold our number two obviously the doing the takeoff uh, to a straight and level will satisfy the first one that will satisfy the second one then we have to do a vor approach so when we get from our final vor station or when we get to this one sorry this this is going to be our vor approach with a procedural turn so when we approach it and we do a turn that satisfies that requirement and then of course we have the ILS now with the ILS we have to do an approach straight in and a 10 minutes holding around the airport so hopefully ATC won't be too much of an issue with that but basically when we arrive to the airport we're going to fly around for 10 minutes holding a certain pattern and then do a procedural turn to an ILS approach straight in and then once we land at a rating of minus 175 or better that is that first five requirements met. Boom. Then I have to choose a four engine propeller aircraft and pretty much do the same thing to, re to fulfill the, the next four requirements. Um, once I've done that, then the final requirement is to either choose Airbus or Boeing and take off and land in a commercial airliner jet aircraft and then once i've done that successfully with a rating of one minus 175 or better then i will receive my commercial license which basically means for the world tour we can now fly the big jets we can fly the boeing the airbus you know and go further to be honest so that'll be pretty cool um and then it's my the final license to fulfill is the air transport license as well and once i've done that then i can start using the self-loading cargo i can start using the packs i can start using ultimate crew because we can take passengers on board and actually they can start rating me and uh, it just gets a little bit more fun then doesn't it so that's basically that so yeah today should be a uh an interesting flight, guys. In the Shrike Commander, I flew. I flew this a few times, um, a couple of years back, I think it was, or last year, uh, to over the Bahamas. I did a whole mission series of uh, smuggling drugs over the Bahamas. It was quite fun, that was. So, and this one's a pretty easy thing to fly. I just hope the fuel will get us there. I don't know if the tanks are big enough. Hello. Right. Full tank. It's just me flying. There we go. 957 pounds of fuel, guys. Let's just have a quick check. 
Hey, we get um, GSX as well, guys. Let's uh, let's get the fuel trucks over. Um, American Airlines, please. What's going on, man? There we go. So here we are back at uh, Ronald Reagan, guys. Don't know where uh, GSX are. Or any plane, for that matter. Zombie apocalypse, by the looks of it. Oh, hello. You all right, mate? Where's everybody gone? I think we're the only ones here, guys. Right, well... Let me see here. Let's open the doors. So we can get on board. So here we are. This is a plane. We're of customs. We're going to be flying some cargo here, I guess. So put the bags in the back. There. Close that up now. Right. Let's get in. Shut the baggage door. Here we are. Right. we got to take this bird to the air fairly quickly because uh, the battery in this tends to drain if you don't. So let's get this stuff in. Uh, forget the inspections. Uh... Right, before engine, uh, exterior door, blah, 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 flight controls, uh, yep, they work. Fuel, landing gear, safely locked, whatever's Trevor's, battery, uh, okay, switch the battery, so this is the, this is the fun part now. Um, God, it's been a while since I've started this bad boy up. Let me try and get everything set here. Battery external power, which I think is this one here. No, that's the light. Battery for external. Ah, that's it there. Oh, hang on, it was already set. There we go. Now it's set to external. Generator and alternator switch off. Which I think they already are. Yes. Can you hear the battery whirring up? Static source selector normal, which I believe is down here. Uh, these two, are they? Nope. Nope. Don't know. Static source selector normal. Did I, man? Can't remember. But it can't be. It can't be important. <laughs> he says. Um, propellers are clear. Yep. Throttle lever. Oh, hang on. We got a throttle lever open. Uh, eighth. Fuel shut off switch open. Fuel shut off switch. I believe fuel shut off switch. I thought is it? oh, there it is. Open. There we go. Um, fuel boost pumps on. Check. Um, ignition to the start. Um, where was we? Ignition switch to the start. That's where we were. Mixture control open. Yep, done that. Um, ignition both after engine starts. Do you know what? I don't remember setting it up this way before. There is a special way to do this. Um, just trying to remember how it, how it is. There we go, that's how you do it.
There you go. Do you know what? I never even got permission to do that, did I? Bloody ATC. A bit of rubbish, isn't it? Runway 10, wasn't it? Should've gone the other way around. Hey Loxley, how's it going mate? Just about to take off mate. Just in time. Got a request taxi. Oh. Roger that. Right then, let's go get some flaps set, trim set. Right then, brakes. Can't get to uh, ground services. Uh, they can't take the follow me car. There we go. Runway one start. Wait for the follow me car. He'll be turning up soon. You gotta move out today, mate. No way. It's the second time. Turn the lock off. Um. Autopilot is on, ready for set. Cow flaps, set them open, otherwise uh, engines will burn out. Here he is. Right, ready to go, Jack. Follow, follow you whenever, whenever you're ready, mate. Which way are we going? Lead the way. Oh, hang on, better click fly now on Project Fly. There we go. Right. Is uh, Active Sky working? Yeah. Right. Which way is he going? I feel like I'm a bit low down in my seat here. Let's get a bit of height. I'll save that as a new setting as well. Come on. 
So we're doing the commercial pilot today, Loxley. If I uh, if I can land this in the in in the style that I have to. One seven five for uh, the landing rating. Then I'll, I'll I'll have passed the first of three exams that I have to take in order to satisfy the commercial pilot license. And then we can start doing the big jumbos when we do the world tour. Do you know what? I don't think I tuned. Let's tune the tower. Ready. Where's the bloody runway? There it is. I asked that a bit early, to be honest. I shouldn't have asked that then. You can't wait to see the big planes. Me neither, man, I tell you. Me neither. Here we go. We can go straight on the runway now. He's giving us clearance. Clarence. Correct and predict on your phone drives you bonkers. Random. Right, M. Let's uh, hit the brakes. Let's do our before checklist. Get rid of that. We're going to cancel the uh, ATC as soon as we get off in the air. So, before takeoff, flight controls are free. Mixture is full rich. Yes. Prop pitch is uh, high. Which, yes it is. Um, fuel boost pumps are switched on. Which they should be, because I haven't switched them off. Yep, and yep. Um, what else we got here? Gyros are set, instruments are checked. Um, Want to make sure we're headed in the right way. Yep, one way ten. Right, let's, let's go guys. Boom! Here we go! Rock and roll! Here we go. Take it to the air. That's a bit bumpy, this is, isn't it? What's going on? Boom! We're airborne. Wheels up. Gear up. Oh, gear's locked. Unlock that. Gear up. There we go, and locked. Lock it into place. There we go, very good. Right, we're all good. We need to uh, start our autopilot switch on for our heading. And, uh, yeah, do that. And altitude pitch up. going on here. Contact them. Get them monkeys off my back. Flaps up. Right. What 
is going on. Switch is on. On. Heading on. Pitch should be on. Pitch is on. There we go. Right, turn right 235. There we go. Speed's going mental. Maintenance check time, mate. Eh? <laughs> Telling you, man. Honestly, yeah. We need to head up to 15,000 feet. Right, let's check our uh, flight plan here. Right, so we tuned into this now, to the VOR. So if we uh, have a look at that VOR. Cancel our uh, thingy. So I think we need to do a turn. There you go guys, that's what you get. That's the view. Oh, that's a rubbish view, that is. There you go. There's your view, guys. Oh, hello. That's the view you get, guys. I think I prefer that view. Hang on, let's, uh... Can we shimmy around? Oh, no, that's the cockpit, that is. Guys, this ain't a big plane, is it? Look at that. Five people in here at max or something, you know. A bit rubbish, isn't it? Right, anyway. Seven thou. feet. Yeah, we're okay. Woo here. Let's 
Let's go it on. Right, after, uh, after we do arrive at our, uh, our destination, if we make it, thousand more feet man but we're descending into clouds bloody cloud city here visibility what's the visibility here Hang on, let's get the uh two thousand feet up to nineteen thousand ah oh, man we're screwed or three thousand to nineteen thousand Broken at eighty five hundred. Moderate turbulence. This flight, evidently, according to Active Sky, is fifty minutes long. Man, our engine's going to cut out in a second. Five nautical miles, is that it? Well, that's going away. See, no, see, this is that's going up. That should be going down, mate. I don't know, man. That triangle needs to be pointing up, doesn't it? That's the away figure from the one we've just come from. But saying that, though, is it going off this Garmin unit? Or the Collins Nav unit. Because they're both shining different figures. I can't change this bloody 113 figure. Don't know how you move it. The DME from the airport you took off from. Yeah, it would be, yeah. I thought this was directly related to uh, what VOR information you're putting in. Nope, oh, it's all gone now. And the triangle's gone. Hello. So have I got to, I've now got to shift it, don't I? Maybe not. What's our next one? Let's let's tune our next one in. Our next one is this one, which is the huge knot one one six one zero. Six 
six. Right, set. There we go. Boom, that's where we need to be going. There we go. Course set. Right, there we go. I mean, we're in a white out here, guys. I know we got there finally, didn't we, man? Hey. How do you pronounce your name, mate? How do I... I mean, what do I call you? Hundred and seventeen miles away from our uh, course, guys. From our next point. Twenty-seven minutes. So it must be taking the information from the Garmin then. Right, as we're at cruise now, we can get rid of the uh, pumps. They can come off. We can also uh, reduce our cow flaps. It came from South Africa, it's an African name, cool. is back and this time he's serious right um, cruise cow flaps closed actually sorry they can get closed cow flaps closed cruise power established mixture control is set yes for best power high limit of the appropriate fuel flow indicator green R represents best power which everything's in the green baby except for Gandas. This one has got to be, I believe, in, it's got to be in uh, sort of here for cruise power, so that's got to be like that. There we go, cruise power. Um, what else? For best economy after engine's temperature is stabilized, uh, power may be used, which is presented by low limits uh, mixture should be set to best power prior to increasing the power. Oh, look at that, guys. We're above the uh, the weather here. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, and then we just... Oh, no, hang on. We do that, sorry. And then do that, sorry. There we go. That's it. That's got to be... Boom, we're done. Right, guys. We'll open. Don't know what happened there. Back to the sky loading the weather. Um, coolio. That's it, guys. We're, we're just really... We're just now waiting. Uh, yeah, basically. We, we now just got to wait and VOR ourselves off. We're 105 miles away from our next waypoint, which is this one here. Uh, sorry, no, this one here, sorry. That's our next waypoint there. I think. Is that the one I set to? Yes, that's the one I set to. So we're headed for that one. Pardon me? Let's tune in to New York City Center. Hey, hey. We're 2,000 feet above our flight plan. Now, uh, lunchtime. So basically, we, we want to go to Newark Airport. So, as soon as it becomes available on here, we can uh, ask to... I mean, it's, it's obviously not, so we just have to leave that. When it is, it will be. Guys, I'm not. I'm not really liking that look. That uh, view, the point there for you guys. It looks a bit naff, doesn't it? What do you reckon? 
looks like that viewpoint, or should we change it? Because you're all first class passengers. Oops. So the South African name, I mean, can we... What, 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 what can I call you, mate? Because I'm, I, without knowing how to pronounce that, I don't, I feel really bad, you know, not being able to address you. Is it Lohan? Is that... Can you, can you phonetically spell it out in chat, please? So I can know how to say it. Because I want to pronounce your name correctly. jumping on board mate look this is the view you get you're a first class passenger mate look at this look at that you look lucky bugger you get the first class view there of sitting here and looking at that beautiful sky out there Ooh, hello go up a bit look at that hello i mean look at that eh? i'm i'm in the i'm in the captain's seat uh flying the plane so thank you for following me thank you and um also if you the link in the discord right to discord chat you can start your own little career mode in my uh, discord become a pilot and work your way up to captain when you meet cabin crew status you get to come and join me in the uh in the in the, the flight deck and we can have a chat stewardess gave me some uh, cup of soup here burn me throat. <laughs> Man, that's hot. <laughs> Ouch. She bought you an Italian pro pro provolone sub. Hey, A sandwich, you mean? Man, I can do a sandwich to uh, soak up this, this hotness. <laughs> Caution contained. Contents may be hot. <laughs> Right, mate. Oh, man. Just swallowed too much. Your Honor. <laughs> right. Let's keep. We got every now and again. We just got to keep an eye on things here. See, like here, we're we're slipping off here. So uh, we need to sort of make adjustments, you know, to get back on course. So uh, we'll just uh, we'll just fly over this way. I mean, really, I should line it up first like that. So, uh, we should be hitting, in 20 minutes, this point here, this peak here, and that'll be in New York, and then we can start a descent, I think, as we go to the next waypoint, we can go down to like 12,000 feet for here, actually we gotta see if there's any, actually, do you know what, we gotta do this properly, like, there might be some uh, limits here that we have to abide by. So, um, I mean, we're not actually going along a flight path, if you notice. We should be actually going along this flight path here, um, and then turning to come in, I guess. But, you know, I'm just, I've just made up my own little thing here. So, uh, any flight restrictions, any height restrictions here? I'm sure it tells you this information. This 
this is these are high restrictions here, three thousand, two thousand five hundred, I think. And I'm not a hundred percent sure. Again, map reading for flight in basic at best. I've only just really started getting into depth with this, so and this is the actual one that real pilots would use for the real world, so I'm just yeah, just learning. So, I mean this is what the whole commercial pilot license is about. Teaching is this sort of stuff, isn't it? So but yeah, I mean guys, not much of a view here, is it? It's just Cloud City. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna see the Millennium Falcon in Lando in a minute. 18 miles to go. And then we need to sort of know which which one our next is. So we'll be doing a massive turn. Once we hit it, we've got to come down here. So that's just changed, hasn't it? Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we need to really 11570. So in fact, we can probably tune that in. I don't. I'm pretty sure it reads the Garmin units for this thing here. I don't think it reads the Collins. So we can tune this in now, and it's ready for when we need it. So 11570. Let's see what happens. Yeah, no change there. 1570. Yeah, no change. So it's when when we do it on the Garmin units, that's when it changes. So basically now, actually I can tune that in now as well, because, uh, so we need to change, what was it, oh, we're going to change it back now, 115.70, so when we're ready to click, we just click this button here, and it'll swap these two frequencies around, and then we're ready to set up on the next VOR. Boom. Good to go. 16 miles to go for that. Flight can, like, clouds. It's cloudy. We're coming up to probably about here now. Somewhere around here. I can confirm that by the map, actually. Uh, oh, actually, no. Uh, Active Sky's got a map. Hang on. I'll bring that up. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, yeah. Look at that. There's one called Soup. <laughs> or Scoop, really, but same difference. Um, so, yeah, that's, yeah, that we're pretty much at the money. Don't like to have that map open because uh, it, uh, if it's on the same screen, it goes a bit funny with the CP, wouldn't it? Look at that, eh? Look at that. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, let's have a look at our checklist for the um, landing or the descent. So it says here, before maneuvering, well, first things we need to do. Oh, do you know what, actually? Oh, I'm the only one on board, so what am I saying? <laughs> yeah. There's a few things we need to do first before we can even descend, which is make sure the cabin heat blower is off. Check for any loose articles in the cabin. Set the mixture controls to rich. Turn on the fuel boost pumps. Make sure the wing flaps are up. Actually, my, uh, yeah, they are. Um, Propeller pitch control set to 24, about 2400 RPM, and then the throttle levers as required, and disengage the autopilot. Well, to be honest, the autopilot can descend us, so that's that's not an issue at all. Seven miles to go. A little course correction here. There we go. Now this is going to suddenly change drastically when we. Uh, we line up. <clears throat> 23 miles to go. So basically we're going to be going somewhere down this way here. 
In fact, we've already passed New York City, by the way, guys. New York City, according to the map, is somewhere down over here. So we've already passed it. We're actually in New York State now. Uh, four minutes, three minutes, and we're turning. We've already set the VOR course in the both both units, so I've just literally got to flick that switch, and then this will all do a little hissy fit. We could cue that up a bit better if we need to, but well, I don't think we need to. to be honest. Might as well though, something to do. Actually, when we get to this, I've got to do a I've got to do a, a, a VOR hold here actually. So in seven miles, I've got to do a hold around here, okay, before proceeding onwards, because one of my specifications for my license is doing a VOR hold in a twin engine prop, so when we reach, at six miles, when we reach this VOR here, I'm basically going to do like a 360 thing, that's going further out. Basically, going to do a 360 uh, turn thing, which is going to be in two minutes. Which, to be honest, we could do now. Um, oh, hello! There's some ground down here. Look at that. So we're not that high off the ground. Should be 17,000 feet. I think, it's New York down there. That's New York State, right? Okay, so now we have to do a hold here. So. Basically, um, I've got to do a, a complete loop-de-loop, -loop. so basically what I do is we go to 120, keeping this as uh, normal as possible. get to one two zero we, we turn it again which this time will be two one zero I think yep two one zero so we now go to two one zero basically doing a complete 360 uh, and because we're doing it in this quarter fashion it ends up being a rectangle hold like a like an, uh, a speedway oval shape which is exactly what uh, jets do when they're holding over an airport although they have a button they push and a computer does all this automatically we ain't got that so we have to do this Obviously, three to four times for a 360. So the next one is 300. Zero, zero. And then our final one will match up with that arrow. So we might have to finagle that a bit. I don't know. I don't think we should have, though. Should have left it. Sometimes we, we've got we've got to do this again. By the way, over the airport, but we've got to do it for ten minutes. Like this is just a single like VOR hold. Like I'm doing one lap and that's it. That's all that I need to do to satisfy that. Right. So there we go. And as we swing around, we can line this up, and we should be still over the VOR station. Um, and if we've done that correctly, we're literally here, ready to go to our next station, which actually should be pointing... Uh, actually, no, we should still be pointing north. So really, we need to do, like, another two of them to point downwards to the correct station. Let's just... 
just go to the next station then. So that's clicked there. That's now lined up. So now we need to finagle this. There we go. And then when it lines up. And there is... There's our course. Set the course. And we've got 20 miles to go and 8 minutes until we hit our next one. So we're, we're, we're going to this one here. And we've got 8 minutes before we hit it. And then the next one is this one. Which is a weather station. Uh, 10840. So let's set that in the navigation now. 10480 did I say? 104. just to give me an idea but then we can set this one here again 10840 I said didn't I 4 108 so now that is now ready for our next one when we lined up correctly which we haven't properly turned So, what have we already accomplished already? So, the lessons here, there's ten of them. First one is take off in a twin engine prop to straighten level. Well, we've done that. The next one is to do a VOR hold in a twin engine prop. We've just done that. The third one is a VOR approach with a procedural turn. Now, um, it doesn't actually state if that's a VOR approach to the runway. Or a VOR approach to another VOR. <laughs> it's to the runway, I know it is. But um, so basically that one will get satisfied um, when we actually approach the uh, airport. So because of we have to, from when we reach to this one, when we reach this one, we'll have to do a turn. So that will be the VOR approach with procedural turn. And then the fourth one is to do an ILS approach straight in, which we'll do when we land. But also, number five is do an ILS approach with a 10 minute holding. So basically, when we do the procedural turn here, right, we then hover over the airport for 10 minutes. This, actually, this, this ain't equipped with ILS uh, hold. We have to do that ourselves as well. Man. Gotta do everything. Well, I thought you were New York Center, mate. You're handing me off to yourself. <laughs> What's going on there? Two nine eight nine. Two nine eight nine. Roger. Set. So we're going about one hundred and fifty miles an hour. That's that's fine. Got plenty of fuel here. One hundred and seventeen gallons left. Plenty. Um. Yeah off course a little bit. We've got four minutes until the next shimmy, the next turn. And that one is called the Teterboro, I believe. Yeah, Teterboro Airport. So that's actually an airport, guys. So we'll have, we might have planes coming over. It's a shame we can't see anything outside. Oh, hello. 
Hey, hey, look at that. Mega scenery line divide, I think. That's, <laughs> that's the map divide, that is. I think. Yeah, so that's like mega scenery. Oh no, that's Orbex land. And now this is mega scenery that we're coming into. So, that's the massive difference. <laughs> I love when that happens. So we're in New York State now. Boom. Oh, hello. Shut the window, man. Bloody hell. Yeah. Right, so we're at 17,000 feet. Uh, our airport now should be showing up here on the list. Newark. Teterboro. Nope, still not. Man. There it is, Newark Liberty, that's it. So we, we want to uh, tune into the... Actually, let's listen to the ATIS first. Let's hear the weather report. Get down to like ten thousand feet then. Man, we got loads of runways to choose from. I think ours has already been decided though. Uh, we're going on O four left. That's not even an option here. Is that right? O four. But where's that O four coming from? O four left. Well, it ain't gonna be O four left, is it? Whiskey. That's their initial contacts. Um. I guess it's gonna be like two four, maybe then. Or I don't know. All right, let's go to that. Coming in, mate, so I won't worry about that. But we gotta do a holding pattern first, so let's uh, let's get her. Right. So we'll we'll request a land after that. No point in requesting a land now and then we do a hold. So in three miles uh, sorry, in three minutes, eleven miles, we need to do our little loop de loop dance again. I think we can descend down to 10,000 feet, to be fair. Um, we don't need to announce our uh, intention to do that. Although we should in real life, I think. <laughs> yep, yeah, city down there. Right, so let's get below these clouds. Actually, no, we'll, we'll do the holding thing above the clouds. That makes more sense. We've got 11 miles to descend anyway. So we're going to need more. Yeah, we're going to need more than 11 miles to descend. Look at that down there, guys. State of New York City. Hey. Seems peaceful from up here. There's an airport there. That could be... Is that our airport? That's 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 an airport in New York. So where's New York City then? There's another one there. So New York City should be somewhere. Is there? There's New York City there, off the off the off the coast. 
off the, there it is, you can just see all the buildings. So we're just literally going to be holding above the city and then come down in. That's cool, Leo. Right, anyway, let's get back in and check this. So, oh, we're way off here, bloody hell. Right, so, two minutes and we do a holding for ten minutes, so we got to start the clock. We've got to do a ten minute holding. So let's get the clock on the go here. Alright, um, stopwatches at the ready. I mean, I could just use the onboard clock here, you know, but whatever. Right, we're going to start doing this now. Oh, well, let's, let's get back on board here. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that will happen, sorry, that slips all the time when you're above the station, so we just have to ignore that. Right, we're going to do our turn, but this time, instead of doing a quarter, we're going to do a full 30 degrees. So, we're going down to 330. Start the clock. We've got to do a 10 minute turning. So, do that down to 330. And then one that reaches a little bit. Hey, look at it, the city down there. Oh yeah, baby. South of KFJ. What's the hang on, what have we missed? South of K JFK. Oh, the airport we're going to, sorry, Fabian, yeah. Right, so basically, this turn has literally taken us a minute to perform. So basically, we've got to do about 20 of these turns, like, a t or 10, sorry, 10 of these turns. So that's going to be five Ring Around the Rosies that we have to perform. <clears throat> one. I mean, I could, like, leave it in between each of these turns I'm doing. I could just, like, leave it for a minute or so and then do another turn, but I'd have to gauge this minute. I'd have to count the minute and everything. Let's just do turn after turn after turn. That's just fine. I mean, I could combine this with an actual descent as well. So, we could go down like, I think that's what we'll do, actually. We'll combine this. After after halfway through with this, we're going to go down to five, uh, 10,000 feet. So our descent and, you know. And we should be, uh, in theory, we should be over the... This, this here, we should be over this here. Basically over Teterboro Airport. <laughs> we're basically circling the airport, is what we're doing. But we're like 17,000 feet above, which I think you're not allowed to do. I think it's got to be 18,000 plus that you have to do this at, but... Whatever's. I don't think we're in a pressurized uh, plane to be able to do these... Uh, extreme heights. I don't know. We might be, actually. I think we are. We are in a pressurized plane, yeah. Obviously, if you're in a, a big jet, like a 737 or a 777 or a 747, your turns would be exaggerated. So you'd actually turn and then go out for like 5 miles, 10 miles, and then do another turn, and then another 10 miles, and then do another turn. Because we're only in a small plane, we can just do ring around rosies. Three minutes in. clouds now. Actually, we can... Oh, no. We can confirm. 
confirm our place by the GPS map here. If we are in, corre in the correct spot that we should be at. Just do this. So, let's have a look. So, uh... Where are we? Yeah, Teterboro Airport. We're actually holding above the airport. Right where we should be. So, in the grand scheme of things, when we, we exit out of here, yeah, we're exactly where we need to be. Look at that. We're actually going to go this way down. Uh... To the airport. The airport's just there. Like Fabian said, south. So we should we should be able to like actually go over New York, I reckon. You know, like the city, have a little sneaky PK over it. Yeah. Right. So we're halfway now. So now we're going to prep for a descent as well. We're going to combine this with a go down to ten thousand feet. Because we're literally at the five minute mark right now. So, let's uh, get our descent ch checklist out. And let's set the next turn. It's getting windy now. And it's getting really windy. Right, so while that's doing that, let's uh, pitch down. to 10,000 feet, so... At least we'll pop out of these clouds, basically. Just gotta keep an eye on the old... Uh Should on Project Fly as well. There we are, yeah. We'll loop de loop in there. Anybody watching us is going, what is this crazy nutball doing? I mean, to be honest, our loop de loops should be kind of on top of each other, but whatever. We're still in the vicinity. Oh, hello. New York! Yay! 16,000 feet. New York City is over here behind us. Should see it from over here. Sort of that there. Oh, it's over here somewhere. Um, and then soon, when we get onto our next, uh, once I once we get to oh god, it's getting really windy here, guys. Let's uh, we're going a bit fast here actually. Hey, I see New York! I see New York! Hey! Right. Descending down in a haze of fog. Right, let's do the next one and then we'll line up our next VOR station reading. Which is actually the airport, I think. Let's turn that. Go so right. What's our next uh, station? So actually, our next station is the airport itself, isn't it? So that one is 10. Oh, well, that's Teterboro still. 10840. There's another one we're on now. Yeah. So it's actually just 
we get uh, thingy to land. Hey, there it is. Look at that. City's coming in, guys. Coming in for landing. Um, actually, we've got to keep an eye on the time here because we've only got to do 10 minutes. We've got another minute of this turn. So basically, I reckon another turn coming up. One more turn and we should be... One more 360 degree turn, that is. It's gorgeous, isn't it, man? Yeah. It's a shame it's a foggy day, really, isn't it? I think it'd look better if it wasn't so foggy. Oh, there we go. Just bust through it. We're only going to 10,000. To shallow this off, I think. Right, let's uh, do another turn. Man, this is a really yeehaw moment. This is right. Stop the clock on that because as soon as we come back to our turn, we're basically getting the vectors to come in. We're getting our what I'm saying, vectors, buddy. Approach, get our approach to go in. Should be hitting about 10,000 at the same time as well, but we're going a slight fast. Let's reduce the throttles a bit. It's really windy, man. It's rocking and rolling. Hey, what flight are you doing? Um, well, this is the commercial. Mate, you know this. This is the commercial license. We're, we're just going into Newark over in New York, which is just over here, MS. You've just come just in time, mate. New York City. Oh, hello. Was that a boat down there? Yeah, New York City here. This is the uh, the view of New York there. Look at that. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Unfortunately, it ain't going to look like that when we get into the city because um, I think Dr Dreswecki design takes over, basically. So there's the city of New York there. Um, we're just coming into a turn. So now we basically... Well, actually, we need to get back to Teterboro, to be honest. So, let's, uh... Where's the course for that? Uh... We need to, we need to get back. Because we were off course a little bit. So, if we go to where that arrow points, which is this way... We should, that should put us back on course. Because uh, that's going towards Teterboro, that is. Turn that that way. Yeah, so that's going towards Teterboro, the, the one that we're at. Uh, we can only go down to 10,000 feet here, so... Once it hits 10,000, we need to level off. Now that we're at 10,000, I think we can go full mixture. There we go, that should now set us on a course. Basically like a back course, I guess this is. Right, so that's now done. Altitude hold, and let's go get our request for landing. Thing is, we hang on. This ain't gonna work, is it? We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna get any uh, approach. He's, oh, acknowledge. Fear fly straight in, man. Isn't it? Two two left, right. Um. I need the um, I need airport information. Uh, hang on. We're going to Newark. I don't think this this none of this information works, does it? Right. Okay. Uh, runway heading. Same for that then. Only 
got a couple of minutes to wear this out as well. What did he say? The out because then we're gonna hit I need to know where New York hang on uh, airport direction just do it uh, VFR nine o'clock it's over here there it is boom that's it that's our airport right let's go then uh, ready for landing mixture engines there right uh, poop boost pumps on mixture controls full rich and there we go right let's do our turn for the runway what was today runway heading two two left right okay I mean to be honest I don't think we're gonna land straight away as we turn in here because we're too far away Wait, right, we're too close sorry so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a flyover. That's my descent here. Descent's a bit shallow. That off a bit. We have to literally do a 360 degree turn here. So we'll fly all over the airport. We're going to go down to. Um, 6,000 feet. No, 2,000 feet. What was 3,000, sorry. Go down to 3,000 feet. Um, ready for the landing. 220. We need to run the uh, back course of the, uh, the runway here. So we're going to go out and then come back in. Boom. No, oh, because we need to land this way. Right, so we'll just do our turns now then. We'll just do our... to descend. Procedure turn this is. What am I saying? Going over and come back again. That's the wrong, wrong runway, isn't it? Uh, where's the landing lights? There they are. I'll flick them on. We're under 10,000 feet now. There's New York City. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm going to change that course to the runway heading now. 220. Just to use it as a guide. basically keep doing these loop-de-loops until we, uh, oh, hello. I think we're f f higher than I think we are. So the runway should be behind us now. So if we go out a little bit, lose some of this height, and then turn around for the landing, in it. So in that case, let me go do that. The city that never sleeps. And it's got two toned water as well. Look at that. Another airport here. So, what airport's that then? So as soon as we get down to, actually we can descend a bit faster than this man, come on. What are we waiting for? A thousand feet man. First stage of laps. So we 
turn at here, I reckon uh, we'll be about f at 5,000 feet. We turn around, and that should because uh, we were at three, we were at 8,000 when we started to do this off thing. So that's 3,000 feet away from the airport. So but then we're actually we said we're actually going down twice as fast actually. So when it hits 6,000, I think we should turn around. going to be right about now. Right, so now we do a turn for the uh, runway. think we got did we need anything on the lightning lights are on yeah uh, fuel pumps are on avionics for some reason oh, that's on here yeah. I don't know what these two do oh man we haven't got any of our navigation stuff on I thought we did <gasps> burn right so the runway should be popping up here there it is two two zero There's the runway. Let's 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 queue ourselves up for it. And now that we've got, when we line up for the runway, I'm going to take over and manual control this sucker. All right, let's turn on to the heading of the runway. Two zero. This uh, doesn't have ILS equipment, I've just realized. How am I gonna, like, I can't, there's no ILS to capture or anything, is there? Uh, was it left or right? Left. We're coming in. Four thousand feet, it's getting a bit windy woo. Wheels can go down, I think. I hope this is Newark Airport. It's a bit misty in it, guys. Hey? A little bit misty here. Right, 
right, here we go. Coming in. Another stage of flaps, please. Man, I'm on the border with this uh, throttle here. Right, wheels down. And locked. Three green. Lock them. Coming in. You're too high, striker. You're too high. Man, it's a bad day to quit amphetamines. And it's really windy, guys. It's really windy. Hey, where's the runway gone? They've turned the lights off. Just, yeah, refresh your page, mate. Where, where, how come they've turned the lights off at the runway? Get the lights back on, guys. I'm coming in for landing, mate. 2,000 feet in the air. I'm way too high. I ain't going to do a missed approach. Tell you that now. Let's dive bomb it. And slow down another stage of flaps. Come on. Nail this puppy. Watch the bridges. This is you guys. You're in the back here. Oh, no, hang on. The mouse on the screen. This is you guys. You're in the back here, okay? You got first class view ship there. Oh shit! Just nuked us all. Ah, bah. You tried on a laptop, and it's definitely delayed here. Mate, you're the only one who's saying it. Here's a clip of it. Does anybody else see it getting delayed uh, talking? Hello, my name is Adam. Hello. Hello. No way, dog. I'll have to have a watch afterwards. You refreshed it twice. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it is the stream then. I don't know. I mean, I'm not getting any... Nothing happening here, guys. Anyway, I'm coming in for landing now, so... Man, there's too many cars down here. Look at that. Kills performance, that does. Do you know what? Just here we go. Final stage. We're coming in. We've got to get 175 or better, guys. Okay? I've really got to nail this landing. So. That seemed pretty, you know what I mean? Right, full reverse. Let's call up, uh, give us, give us some parking to a cargo ramp. Parking brakes are on for some reason, a bit weird. Um, let's turn off here. Uh, parking ramp one, might as well. Let me turn off and then we'll call them. Uh, where's the turn off here? It? Yeah, I'm off, mate. I'm off. Chill your beans, man. Come on, GSX. Don't spice me. Here we go. Marshallers dispatched. Follow me vehicle is on its way. Hand off to the ground. Thank you very much. Let's just wait here for the uh, follow me vehicle. Emma, how's the synchronization guys going now? 
Oh, hello. Oops. What happened then? That was weird. Man, is it just suddenly gone to night time or something? Should we uh, put the landing lights on? Or turn them landing lights off, actually. Now, where is he taking me here? I feel like he's going to take me and slay me. it all synced up now with the old webcam guys? This guy's taking me on a mission here. Tour of New York. There we go. a marshaller. It's alright, is it? Okay. Oh, no, it's not alright, isn't it? I don't know, guys. I mean, it. I, I'm looking at the encoder here, and it's fine. Hang on, let me do a turn here. And I'm looking at this other one down here. I can't really see it live, but I will be able to. Hang on. Dude, I don't know where he's taking me. He's got Ted Bundy waiting for me at the end here. It's a little bit jumpy in here, to be honest. I think this airport's not streamlined. You're going to need to fiddle with it a bit. You're fine on YouTube. It's Twitch. Ah. Well, I'm not on YouTube, though, Loxley. So, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? I'm only on Twitch, yeah? Should only be on Twitch. Yeah, I'm only on, I'm only on Twitch today. So I should, nobody should be watching me on YouTube. There she is. I can see her. He's going to run her over. He is. Dude, he's going to run her over. He's just driven through her. Day bastard. Chelsea. Was that a football club? <laughs> Here we go. She looks scary. The Carol Baskin, that is. All right, there we go. Cut the engines. Oh, yakka shack. Brakes. Fuel boost pumps off. Close them off. That'll kill the engines. Boom. Oh, no. Don't start. Turn off. Should be off. There we go. There you go. Shut down the avionics. Uh, generators and put the battery to external. There we go. Right then. Boom. Hello. Look at there, man. Right, here we go. What's our landing rating? This is it now. If it's not minus 175, complete and out of fail. Okay. Minus 81. Oh, yeah, baby. We did it. Oh yeah, we uh, that's the first one. 
So let's just double check ourselves here. Have we completed? Which ones did we satisfy? We took off in a twin engine prop to straight and level. Boom. Number one finished. VOR hold in a twin engine prop, which we did over here. We did a VOR hold there, so that's that done. A VOR approach with procedural turn. Well, we um, actually did, yeah, we did a procedural turn um, and then from, from a VOR. Uh, so that satisfies that. Now, ILS approach straight in. My, like, my uh, aircraft hasn't got that type of... So, like, I did it. I, I you know, using the, uh, the pappies. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I can count, really, the, the f number fours and five because I need an aircraft that has... Uh, that type of equipment on board. Anyway, when's the next one? Um, it will be, what day are we on today? So tomorrow, I can actually do the next stage of this, which is do the same flights, right? Basically from New York back to Washington, but in a four engine plane. So basically, I need to find a plane with four engines. We could use the Constellation. We could use a DC-6. There's so many options. I've even got a Dash, a de Havilland 7 that's got four engines. Any one of them four engine planes, and we need to do the exact same, but going backwards. Um, so, yeah. Satisfied, that is. That's done. Done and dusted, man. Man, this is a bit uh, morbid here. There she is, hiding. She's hiding from me. She's raising her hand up. She's got a question. So, there we go. Boom. 737 would be best. May if version 5 had the 737, I could. If I, if I actually had the NGXU, unfortunately, I have to buy that all over. I have to buy that if I, if I want to fly that. I've got the 737 because I'm never going to use it again. And they won't let me exchange it. So they say I've got to buy a new one. If I want it in version 5. Because they're not making this compatible with version 5. It's a complete con job. Anyway. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for this uh, one today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try a uh, 4 engine propeller aircraft. And by next um, Friday. I'll be doing the Boeing or the Airbus flight. Um, to satisfy this commercial license and if I succeed in that guys I get my commercial pilot's license which means when we do the world tour boom we can fly the big boys yeah so that's it part one complete thanks for watching guys take care man uh, I'd say sayonara, man, isn't it? Thank you.